so children welcome back and today we are going to start with uh, the number system and uh, the name of the chapter as per the book is concerned they have given data representation in computers but we are going to learn that is the number system and we are going to learn about the number system and number system is very important as a computer programmer that you should be aware of it what exactly is the uh, the different types of a number system so if i really you know read out this theory for you it is uh, okay uh, not really that helpful i would say because uh, it requires a lot of explanation basically so still okay i will just try to read a few things uh, that in order to work with the data the data must be represented inside the computer now digital computers represent data by means of easily identified symbol called a digit okay we are going to understand this do not worry and then the numbering system each number system has a base called as a radix uh, decimal number system has the base as 10 binary as 2 octal number system as 8 and hexadecimal as 16 so let us understand this and uh, this is the table okay but we are going to understand it in a much much better way so let us uh, switch to that is a simple excel sheet and uh, okay over here i'll just uh, okay so I'll just i'll just zoom out a bit and uh, merge this and center this and this is a decimal decimal number system right a decimal uh, number system number system uh, so uh, children that uh, you are aware of this decimal number system what is a decimal number system the number system that we know the number system that we have learned is the decimal number system and as what they have said in the book that it has the base value of 10. Now today I'm going to take you back to the lower classes and in fact I'm going to take you back to the beginning where you actually started learning the number system. So maybe we started learning from 1 to 100 series, you started learning from LKG or UKG. So let us go back to that LKG and UKG. So we are just revisiting the your old time as well as my old time okay so i'll just merge this as well uh, make it more combinations just a minute okay uh, fine and then over here i'll uh, that is decimal number system okay so let us go back to the old type and uh, try to understand the decimal number system so decimal number system uses how many symbols do you know how many symbols are used in decimal number system in decimal number system children there are 10 symbols now today again you're going to learn the numbers from 1 to 100 trust me but in a different way so decimal number systems have 10 symbols and what are those symbols those symbols are that is uh, first is that is a zero then one two three four five six seven eight and nine and children these are the these are the nine symbols or symbols okay just i'll keep that okay some greed so these are the nine symbols sorry the ten symbols i'm going to say zero to nine symbols okay zero one two three four so we are actually going back to the origin of the number system so how was the decimal number system originated so we have these symbols to to which gives an understanding isn't it so zero in fact zero was it has been said that it was been invented but uh, by Aryabhat in india isn't it so these symbols are very important for forming a number okay so zero to nine is the symbols you use and so the base uh, for the decimal number system is 10 so base is 
10 and why the base is 10 the base is 10 because there are 10 symbols 0 to 9 i know that you have been through this uh, in class 5 or 6 that was the number system chapter you might have but today you're going to understand everything in detail in deep okay so these are the 10 symbols of the decimal number system now if I want to come with the next combination, so what would be my next combination? Now you would say, oh, it's so simple, after 9 comes 10, but why does the 10 and why do we have that combination comes after 9? So there is a combination that we use for that particular, that is the digit 10, if I say. So the next combination that I can have is, I'm going to, you know, take that next value, okay? that is one okay the next symbol i mean to say that is one and then zero and again i'm going to start with zero one two three four so one zero one and what is going to be over here that is one 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 two one three one four one four one five one six isn't it one seven one eight and one nine one nine and uh, so i took that next symbol that is one and then the same repetition i had so that is zero to nine so you can say zero to nine and one to every symbol so that is 10 for us so this is a decimal number system that we have learned that after 9 comes 10 11 12 13 14 15. and these are the symbols that are used so using this symbol these 10 symbols we form other numbers only using this 10 symbols we can form any number so 19 after 19 what can be the next combination the next combination is i am finished with one so i'll take two and then comes two and zero and then two and one and it goes on isn't it so this will okay let me just do it in a simple way i'm using excel sheet i should have known that that's it then after three uh two the next combination I will take as 3, then 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and 3, 4, so on. And for example, I come at 99, okay, this way. I come at 99. Now, can you tell me what combination we are going to have next? Now, it is so simple. After 99 comes 100, but how does it come down? It is the combination that we use is the next. Now, we are finished with these combinations, actually. 0 to 9, we applied it. We came to 9. And then I'm going to take this next combination. That is 1, 0, and then again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, right? Isn't it? So, 1, 0, and then 1, 1, 0. Sorry, one zero, one zero and zero, isn't it? And one zero one and so on. The combination will go on. So that is uh, one zero one to one zero nine, and then comes, uh, you know, uh, so one one zero. That is hundred and ten. So if you look in form of combinations, if you think in form of combinations, I don't want you to just think, okay, after 99 comes 100. Think in a form of a combination. This is very, very important, okay, for you. So this 100 came because we took the next combination, that is 10, and then we added these numbers. Uh, just we joined 0, 1, 2, 9, and then we came up with 100, then uh, 101, 102, and we are going to go till 110. And so on it goes on the series will go on okay uh, so using only these 10 symbols we can form any digit number so this is the decimal number system we have the base 10 because there are 10 symbols so now let's go on and understand okay I will copy all this okay and uh, and I will paste it over here so let us understand the binary number system if i go for binary number system okay understanding the binary number system so binary binary number system now please understand this is the number system that computer uses we use decimal number system but the computer doesn't understand decimal number system okay the computer doesn't understand decimal number system we have to uh, 
you know the computer has its own number system which is a binary number system the binary number system the base value for this is 2 what does this mean if i say that the binary number system has the base 2 what exactly this means this means there will be how many symbols there will be only and only two symbols isn't it there will be only two symbols so that is zero and one that's it there are only two symbols and in electronic world zero represents that is off so you have a switchboard at your house and you just off the light and you on the light so when you off the light that's zero basically and when you switch on the light that is one so on off the circuit that's that is designed is in the form of zero and one that is on off combination that takes place inside the circuit and using this combinations of on and off we can come up with the you know the computer understands the data basically so computer only understands the language of the binary number system that is zero and one now if i apply the same logic of decimal number system over here so we are not going to go till 100 okay because that will be too big series but simple combinations we can take and uh, simple combination can be after 0 okay and 1 so this is 0 and 1 so what will be my next combination so I'll, just like I took 1 as my next combination right from here when I finished with my 10 symbols that is 0 to 9 and then I took 1 and 0 so the same thing I'm going to do I'm going to take my this there are only two symbols now so I'm going to take one and zero right and the next series will be so one I took and then zero one so this will be one one isn't it children so if I apply the same logic out here so please understand that this zero and one okay fine zero is zero in number system one is one in number system but uh, you know one zero of a binary number system one and zero okay so that will be two in the decimal number system so that's two okay and uh, you can see one one is basically three so I've come up with a series that is uh, you know zero one and two three how I can come up with four now how will I come up with four? I finished with this combination and with this combination. So now I'm going to I finish this combination. So to come up with the next, I go back to the previous combination. So that is one zero zero. So that's four. And then one zero one. You can see. So one zero that zero one zero and one. So zero and one. Again, the same combination came down over here. So this is how we are forming the numbers, children. So now this might be a bit confusing how this can come down to uh, know. So we have a easier method to convert any any decimal number into the binary number. So how we are going to convert that decimal number? For example, uh, if the decimal number is, uh, I'll just come over here. Okay. So decimal number is uh, ten. Sorry, if it is. Uh, okay uh, that it was uh, 0 1 and 2 okay so if I want to convert this now this is a decimal number please understand this okay a decimal number 2 since I said 0 1 and 2 so binary number system is 1 0 how to prove that it's 1 0 logically yes I proved it we are just taking that combination 0 and 1 and then that I took that 1 and then 0 1 1 1 then the next combination 1010 and then 01. So that's how the numbers are forming. But yet we can prove it by mathematics and we can simply use that number system. Uh, we have this. This is a decimal number system. Okay. So I will write here that is a decimal number system. A decimal number system. So this is a decimal number system. I want to convert this decimal number system into. Uh, the binary number system. So if you want to convert any decimal number, 
okay please remember this words it's very important because later on it becomes a lot of confusion because we are going to understand the octal number system hexadecimal number system and we are going to convert a lot of numbers from a decimal to binary binary to decimal binary to hexa hexa to octal a lot of combinations are going to come and so i'm going very very slow please understand this any decimal number if it needs to get converted into the binary number decimal to binary okay two you have to remember if two decimal two binary divided by two why divided by two is because is because uh, the base value of binary is two so we are going to divide this number so that's so simple is so two ones are two right and then it's again if i want to consecutive to division it's not divisible and so what will be the remainder for this so if i divide two okay so that was two so two ones are two and the remainder was um, zero and the next was two it is not divisible so we are going to straight away take that number one because since it is not divisible so we are going to take that as the remainder okay so what is the combination and then we are going to go from bottom up approach bottom up from down we are going to form this number from one zero and you can see that's the same number that we had so any number that is a decimal number of uh, that is two if we convert that into a binary so i have this combination okay so from bottom up approach so one zero so the number two that is a decimal number system if i convert that into uh, uh, if i convert that into binary okay, if i convert that into binary let's just design these things a bit Okay, so I'll remove this. This is decimal, assuming. Okay, I will say only deck decimal. Fine. And now you can, this is too small. And these are the remainders basically. Okay, so 0 and 1. And then the approach is bottom up approach. So 1 and 0, that was number two so if i convert number two the decimal number system into binary so that's one zero and if i take this as decimal number as three divide this so what is going to happen so two ones are two right that's how i'm going to divide it two ones are two remainder is what remainder is one right and then two ones are two and then again it is non we cannot divide that so we are okay, just going to take that number so that's one one isn't it and then again i'm going to take that bottom up approach so one one remember this is very important during the exam you might just take one one from top to bottom so that's one one and you can see the same combination that we have come up with that is one one so then the same way if i do it for four four so how i'm going to do this this two twos are Four, so simple and the remainder is zero then two ones are two again it comes down to zero and then it is not divisible so we'll take one and you can see in the bottom up approach that is one zero zero one zero zero from bottom to up and you can see that's four so any decimal number if we have to convert this so this is four okay for computer this is four understand it this is three this is five okay so if i have this as five so two twos are four then i'll come there as one and then two ones are two zero and i can so one zero one you can see this isn't it so that's five and for example if i have any number like 16 okay 16 so how i'm going to do this simple it's a very simple even number we have to keep on so just uh, apply the division that two eights are 16 so that comes so zero then two fours are eight again that remainder is zero then comes two that is twos are four again it comes down to uh, just uh, just a minute uh two eights are 16 zero two fours are eight zero two twos are four again over here it will be zero and then uh, two 
and ones are two so again it comes down to zero and then it is not divisible so i will just take that one so then bottom up approach so one two three four so bottom up approach so what is the number 60 so if i simply can say that 60 decimal number is basically what it is from bottom up so that is okay something i made mistake over here that is uh, okay fine that's fine this looks good so that is this isn't it so this is the decimal number system fine so if uh, same you can convert any any number into you know a decimal number system now we have this online facilities you know to check whether everything is going right or not to check just to cross check okay so you can simply type a uh, decimal to binary and uh, for you i'm showing this okay you can use this but uh, do not just keep the practiced okay do not misuse it so any decimal number if i say 16 and you can see that convert to and you can see that binary number system that is one zero 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 that is four times zeros is it just the same number we have is it it so you can use this any there are so many websites you can just use this and then we have this hexadecimal and uh, octal number system we are going to look at that later part okay so please do not misuse this children this is just to cross verify your answers i'm showing you this website so any number if you want to convert into any decimal number please understand decimal to binary how you're going to do that is you're going to divide that keep on dividing it by uh, two and just start collecting the uh, remainders and bottom up approach that is very important okay so this is how the thing is children so uh, we are going to understand the other number systems also and uh, i'll give you a few homework not today today just the last day of the week children and uh, we're going to have other number systems like octal and hexadecimal number system and why do we have the octal number system and hexadecimal system when we have a number system that is decimal which we understand and we have a number system that is the binary number system which the computer understands so why do we have octal number system and hexadecimal number system is what we're going to find out okay so this is how you want to have this call now i hope this is clear how the combinations are formed and any number anywhere you want to cross check just keep on dividing it okay and uh, we can come up with the binary number system so this is the language see this is the language that computer understands computer doesn't understand these this language this is the language that we have learned so today i've taken you back to the lower kg upper kg you know but just we have learned the same system from 0 to 99 but in a different way you can say we have learned this in a different way just we we, we actually went uh, to that invention part that how exactly this number system was invented or how the combinations are um, formed to form any digit okay this is what we have learned today so this is the thing children for today so i showed you any decimal number if you want to convert into binary just apply this method and uh, you have this book with you and i don't know what is uh, how they with what they have started but we are not going to go with this okay now this really confuses a lot do not do not go through this i suggest i will just give my own notes and uh, and just go by what i am teaching to you that is very important because this really confuses a lot of students we are going to go with all this okay but first thing that we are going to learn any decimal number so we are going to work with decimal number decimal into binary decimal into octal decimal into hexadecimal and then the reverse conversion is going to come that we are going to see it at the later part okay but uh, my suggestion is do not just go through this okay this will really really confuse uh, you a lot so what the roadmap i have just follow that roadmap and this will be very super clear to you okay so i'm signing off children and we are going to meet on uh, uh, monday and with on monday we are going to go in detail with the number systems and this is really really very exciting really fun to work with and many things to discover there are so many th things to learn children you know this is just a beginning for you do not 
just gain knowledge or learn anything only for marks please understand you know it is very important to develop your skills so that you know you can be uh, you, you you can separate yourself from the crowd please understand this this is very important so i'm signing off children we are going to meet on monday bye for now